So, here we go then. We are in a casual game. Seems like we actually got the new map. Sweet. I'll see about getting one of the new operators too, but I don't think that'll happen. No, we didn't get one of the new operators. Can't say I didn't try though. Let's just pick Jaeger and go with it. But it's going to be interesting to try out a new map at the very least, so... Here's hoping for a long game that we will ultimately win. I will be trying to do some commentary during the game, but no promises on that account, so... We get Caviera, Pulse, Lacian, El... Is that how you pronounce it? Lesion? Lesion. It sounds almost French, and... I apologize for my rather horrible French accent. Secure the bomb. I know that was probably not what you wanted to hear. Also, that's bombs, so we're gonna try and reinforce it here instead. I don't really know what to feel about this map. I've played it once before, but the recording was ruined from that uh, event. Either way, I feel a bit like they might have... ...gone a bit too much with the scary end. I mean, it's kind of interesting to see them go for the abandoned theme park thing. But there is a part of me that would have much rather seen them go for the not abandoned park one because in the novel Rainbow Six by Tom Clancy published in the 90s about 1998 uh, there is actually a operation that the operators from Rainbow does that takes place in a theme park world park in Spain and there is a part of me that would have liked a few more references to the novel Especially by not being afraid to make those references and just call it World War and have it be an active part. And I think it times up now. I think we are expected to actually engage. And here I was. Yeah, as you might have noticed, Jaeger has lost his ACOG. Oh, that's the new flashbang. I don't know how far they can get with that. I didn't get him, but my ADS seems to have gotten one of the charges. Yeah, it's dangerous for us to stand here. But I think they've actually wasted at least two of their thingies. Oh god, nice. They come. Nice. Op for last op standing. Clear. Sensor deployed. There is a part of me that actually wants to. Yeah, I think Caviar is on it. Really. I mean, it's a nice map and all, but I think it would have been better suited to not go with the horror team. And the part of it is that... Oh crap. Got him. Uh, four eliminated. Mission successful. Speaking of horror theme, people break through the walls. Now, to continue the topic, the map works very well for some of the horror-inspired skins, but I don't really feel like it should, if you catch my meaning, because right now uh, we have the clown masks, we have, you know, the dark uniforms, everything. It fits the third party stuff, but I would still prefer to, you know, be an active, living, current uh, theme park. Because many of the environments so far feel abandoned or bloody or criminal hideouts or stuff like that. 
it would be nice to have it like consulate like a place that was just recently abandoned i think that would improve the map significantly but i'm through talking about the map and we're gonna focus more on the actual play now the new operators we've already suffered their effects uh, through the fuse bang which um, m might actually call it Drone has located uh, it's basically worth as fuse as um, cluster charge only that you can throw it if you like and it's a flashbang that you yourself is immune to and I've been wanting something like that for quite some time and I'm not entirely convinced uh, it will catch on, so to speak, but it's going to be interesting to see what people can do with it. I feel it's a very good Five option, seconds. especially compared to the weapons that Operator gets, so it's going to be... The has been recovered. Yeah, we're gonna... You've oh, great! I forgot to completely equip IQ's AUG with any sort of... Yeah, this is what happens when you're so used to having preset loadouts that you actually do not even... Scanning for electronic devices. Yeah, my pistol is also Spot not even phone. skinned. The barbarism. Here goes Fuse. I don't know if we broke the window or they did. Kinda hoping we did, because otherwise there might be someone there and I don't want that. Oh, I have the diffuser, so I should really be hanging around with these guys. Nade out. We actually got something by that, so we're gonna throw another one. We got a GU mine destroyed, that's insufficient. Crap, crap, crap. That was annoying. First of all, I should have got the guy because th there was no way I didn't score any hits. And second of all, Fuse got... Yeah, Fuse is actually covering for me there. There's no way I could have died since Fuse was in the fucking way. Not that it actually matters because someone just r n rushed in and knifed both of them. And I am forever happy for that person because it seems like that was a twitch streamer and if he's going to stream an exciting battle then he's not really going to stream him getting knifed in the butt so oh valkyrie just ran straight into that oh come on seriously Yeah, I think we the lost this one. Was Mission failed. Are you saying easy when we lost? What kind of sense does that make? Oh well. Yeah, we got the Polish. No, this is the, the not Polish operator this time around. We got the guy who basically is a roamer and goes around placing mines. I know he we've equipped him with proper. It is Ella who has basically the non-lethal mines. She's the Polish operator and this is the Hong Kong operator, so this is going to be interesting because Laceon is pretty much made to be a roamer. He has these mines that replenish throughout the match instead of just, you know, you get him you get him at the first opportunity. Advised. Op 4 has found a bomb. So, I wonder if we should just... Yeah. We're gonna go with one there, and then we're gonna reinforce the second one here. As you can see from the uh, lower bar, we haven't actually got our first mine yet. And uh, we're most likely going to get our first mine later. Oh. Now we have our first mine, and now we're getting our second mine. I get the feeling that these should be 
play by the windows. I'm not sure how long yeah, how long I can actually throw these. Let's see. Yeah, I can actually throw these a fair distance. And since I will ge be getting in more of them... Oh, you, you think this is enough, really? We're gonna place a third one here. Somebody needs to wash this. There we go. Place down. Compromised. Yeah, they're outside the window. I'm waiting for basically another mine so I can throw it up there. Just a little trick. Yeah, Buck is up there. We're actually going to run down because there's no way I'm going to try and have a conversation with Buck. Um uh, Buck is most likely more powerful than I am either way, so hopefully we can get to trigger a trap on him instead. Yeah, we got our new a new trap. We're actually gonna throw another one out, so we have it. Two enemies left. We have enough traps placed out for the enemy advance to be difficult. And it's not like they will try to come through the... Loading you back. Op for last op standing. Yeah, enemy poisoned. So we got... I don't know if we, we actually got the guy or not, but let's just throw out a new mine. Oh, it wasn't that guy who got poisoned, there was someone else. Maybe someone on the top floor then. Yeah, here's the diffuser. Gonna sneak. Let's see if we can see anything. Yeah, our mine in the stairs here are still there. I wonder if you can pick up and reuse the mines. Yeah, stairs. I don't think I can go... Oh, I can. Nice. I wonder if that means I can actually find a staircase to go down and flank them. I have no idea where I'm going on this map. No idea whatsoever. Apparently we ended up in the haunted house, at least. We have enough traps and enough... T yeah, we only have got Caviera defending, actually. So I should try and haul us back to the uh, objective. And successful. just because of that, Caviera won. I got an injury assist on the guy. At least something. But it took me quite a while to get there, you know. Apparently nobody else wants uh, the other Hong Kong operator, Jing. So I'm gonna pick her up for this round. Well, I could still potentially be, you know, headshotted, but... Hopefully I will not be. At least not by my own team, alright? Either way, I think that most people have feel that the new trap... The new operators might not be as game-changing as they once were. I mean, when Frost and Buck came, they were immensely popular. Mostly because they changed up the metas, but the meta has changed. It's no longer a certainty what team you're supposed to pick. And for the longest time in Rainbow Six Siege, I mean, to the at least season, year one, season three, the... the... 
the meta about what operators to pick was fairly consistent. I mean, you were supposed to have Fermite, you were supposed to have Thatcher, you were supposed to have Ash, Five that kind of deal. Uh, there wasn't that mo much point to change around what operators to bring, and now there is the a far, far larger the choice when it comes to picking operators. I feel this is a good thing, because it means that you can have favorite operators and switch around and people might still do the same thing. Our operator is not required. The best example for this is Fermite and Hibana, who essentially does the same thing, but differently. And it doesn't need me to be more than that. I mean, same thing but differently is most likely going to be how many of the Rainbow Six operators will work. I mean, just consider the amount of trap operators in the game. There is going to be many trap operators, and I feel that adding two trap operators at the same time might be a bit overkill, but hey, if it works, why complain? We're gonna follow him in. He got him. Yeah. gonna repel which is dangerous see if there's some entrance on the top here that we can reach through if it is Who can be each kill? sorry flashing coming go can be go can be Yuri. Oh, ying. on my way Planning, planning. Let's do this. The user is active, protected at all costs. Yeah, we got it. Op four neutralized. Mission successful. I like this LMG. I mean, it's not obvious that this is an LMG, but I like it. Oh, Pulse doing the long jump there. Sweet. I have a way that was a pretty good match actually. We came out ahead, the opposition was good, I got shot in the head, and is that a new Ash victory pose? It sure looks like it, I'm fairly certain Ash did not use that victory pose before. And we got promoted to level 7. Sweet. Are we gonna get an alpha pack out of this too? No. No alpha packs for us. And we don't don't really have. But what we're gonna do before we do anything else is actually we're gonna equip IQ. IQ deserves having some fun stuff for her guns. And then we're gonna play another game. Let's see here: weapon skins, Cold War fronts. I don't don't know why so many of the. Nice looking ones aren't actually unlocked. I mean, the leather one should really be unlocked. Oh, wait, I have Rainbow Six credits, so let's just use Rainbow Six credits. Purchase that one. And equipped. And we are, of course, using the ACOG on that one. Why would you even consider something else? Let's see here, weapon skin, the rainbow skin, of course, because the rainbow skin is awesome. And a compensator. Grip. No underbarrel. And holographic for that one. And, of course, an ACOG. And I don't know if I should put... Yeah, I should put a compensator here. And instead go for the muscle break ACOG combo with the 427. 
Oh, sorry, 552. <sighs> That's probably the better option, so we're gonna change up. We go for red dot or holographic, more like it, and go for suppressor instead. So there we go. And now we just need a skin for it. I mean, dressing up a Austrian gun like this feels wrong somehow. So we're not going to. We're not gonna buy the diamond skin either for that matter. We could just purchase the gridlock skin, so we'll do that. There we go, everything alright with IQ, because IQ is going to be one of our mains for this. I think we actually need to check out if... She doesn't have any other uniforms, that's sad. She really deserves some of them. And I think we're gonna give her this helmet as well. And then we're gonna give her a nice little pistol skin. And give her pistol some nice items. Not blue nebula. We could go with the golden one or the... Yeah, I think we're actually gonna go with the canary since yellow is a bit like IQ's color. And I don't really know who, who we should be picking as our defense main, really. I'm a bit interested in putting Mute there or Jagger, so we're just gonna go for another casual. We can play Ranked, but I don't feel the need to, because if we play Ranked, remember, there is not really... We might end up in a situation where we do not get to play the new map, and I want to play the new map. So there is that. Uh, it appears like we're bring, being br brought in as a replacement. So this is going to be our second match. And it's also going to be the final one of this broadcast. Since I don't feel all that talkative. In fact, I feel like lying uh, down and having bomb. very much water. <laughs> Apparently we are one up. About not one up and it's 1-1 one, one. good that means that there is at least two games left we're gonna be on the attack so we're gonna pick IQ and see what happens we're gonna have the frag grenade we're gonna have the pistol we're gonna have the sub the like machine gun not the submachine gun uh, I mixed it up yesterday where I call the light machine gun a submachine gun. And the reason was that it was a ballpup submachine gun. Uh, so <laughs> I did it again. Ballpup light machine gun. So there is why I made a mistake. But considering my interest for weapon knocklementure, it feels like it's a mistake I shouldn't do. That said, the G81. G8A1. Uh, it's based on the G3 rifle, and considering my latest review copy, I really ought to know how to pronounce it and what it is. So, But hey, let's just go for the bombs. Now, when it comes to the Season 3 map changes, uh, I might be playing more casual, because I want to play on a large scale of maps. I'm not trying to prepare for ESL, and I think the new changes are insertion. a slap in the face to everyone who... Wa who doesn't want to train for the ESL. Uh, in fact, the new, the only pe uh, people the new change uh, benefits are the people who are going to be in ESL. And this is annoying because I feel like part of being good at Rainbow Six Siege is far more than than just knowing the maps. It's about being able to adapt. And the seasons are already made so that new games will not be a... New maps will not be a part of... Sweet. And new maps will not be a part of the ESL meta. So I feel like it's a bit overkill to 
Ah, crap. I w had basically convinced myself there wasn't going to be anyone there, but Jagger hung around in the stairs like any normal person does when the bomb is there, so... <sighs> Besides, I was too busy talking and too convinced of my own esteemed good. Either way, I feel like this change benefits only the teams who want to go in the Pro League, who want to go into esports, who wants to... Uh, who really benefits from only playing the maps that might end up in a esports tournament. However, it doesn't really benefit everyone else, and that is my problem with it. Because I honestly feel uh, that this change is unnecessary. Because the Pro League doesn't need the help. The Pro we League consists eliminated. of the best players in the game. And they should be able to adapt to not playing their usual maps. Yeah, let's focus on trying to win the next game. So, I'm gonna pick Valkyrie. I don't have an Aspira cosplay body pillow for some reason. Uh, Dead Leader said one was on the way, but I haven't actually seen any of it. So, instead I'm just gonna pick Valkyrie and have a bit of fun. That came out wrong. Either way, if you haven't seen Aspira Cosplay's amazing Valk cosplay, you seriously need to do so, because it's fucking awesome. And, I mean, just looking at the in-game portrait, and looking at her, I mean, they can pretty much redesign the in-game model and Valk's in-game name to match Aspiras, because there is an uncanny likeness there. I mean, she was pretty much born to play Valkyrie. But let's... I shall try and talk less about other Rainbow Six subjects. I mean... People say I can talk forever about Rainbow Six Siege, however, I should probably not do so while playing Rainbow Six Siege. Let's see if we can turn this one around, but so far it hasn't really gone all that well. And so we wait. And so... oh... Protect the bombs. So they want us to protect the bombs. Hey, you're sporting shorts. How sweet. Op four has located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. Camera in position. Needles in position. Camera. Yeah, I think we're gonna reinforce. Be advised. Op four has found I'm not sure if I'm reinforcing the right wall here. I should really position check it out. Yeah. This is the correct wall, so let's just do it. Ten seconds remaining. Speaking of Aspira, and this is the last time I'm gonna mention her, Five uh, the tattoos on her arms were apparently hand-drawn in anticipation of the convention in her hotel room, and that is fucking dedication, I mean, seriously. That is some god-awful dedication. That's something I could never do. Because it's such a level of... Oh, level of dedication. Also, I think we got the enemy on the inbound, so I'll talk less about other amazing cosplayers and more about how we're gonna try win this. Montaigne is down. Oh, come on! <sighs> That's one, actually one of the issues I have with the technical test server. And yes, I know it's a technical test server, but that people have this tendency to just glitch into existence.
One op four remaining. One friendly remaining. Oh, come on. He's planting, planting. Oh, fuck. All friendlies were eliminated. Mission well, failure. we had to win some and lose some, so that's about it. I must, however, say that I enjoy the new smoke mechanics. And if it means that smoke is also identical to all the sides, then that just makes it fucking better. Because, I mean, the smoke grenades has been broken for a good one and a half years now. And if they fix that, then that is a boon for the game. Because the unreliable nature of smoke grenades have made them a bit quonky to use. Either way, this has been a broadcast from the TTS server. So thanks for tuning in. And there will be most likely more of this to come.